Hey, sis. How are you? So, uh, let's get started. You just move your head and it looks around. That's so cool. Let's do the test drive. This is amazing. Hi, my name's David. How can I help you guys today? Thank you for helping me. This is so cool. Toyota. or deposits in transit and three if the bank made a mistake on an account uh, and that's something we'll have to look at as well uh, so let's deal with one and two the bank rarely makes mistakes it's more often the accountant of the company that makes a mistake but let's think about one and two outstanding checks we said were checks that we've recorded that the bank has missed now for my American friends, one of the wacky uh, Canadian things is I spell checks C-H-E-Q-U-E-S, of course, you'll spell checks C-H-E-C-K-S. Um, we're looking for, though, checks that I've recorded that the bank has not. So let's go back to our um, question. I went the wrong way there. Going back to our question. We go down our list of checks, and there they all are in order, of course, and they should be sequentially ordered. There shouldn't be anything missing there. Looks good. I'm going to look for any checks that I've recorded that the bank has missed. So let's start with check 62. 832 bucks, and I see it right away on the bank statement. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try something a little tricky. I'm going to to give a red check mark on every one to make sure they're matching. I'm also going to zoom out a bit here, and so this might be a good time to have the question handy because it might be hard to see. I don't know. So check 832, check. <laughs> My check mark was way too big. Uh, check 832, check. 1254, and I see a 1254 down there, and that's yes. Check 63, a little bit of a smaller check mark. A little bit of a smaller check mark there too. Check 64. Now there's an asterisk and it says 839. And I see check 64 down here, two asterisks, and it says 983. There's obviously something going on there. And let's go down to the asterisks. And actually, there it is, the two asterisk one. It says check 64, a payment. Hello, this is Barbara, and this is Fancy the Cat. We're making this video to update you on the GoFund campaign, so Fancy Cat and I have a car, so we have our independence. This is an update on Fancy. She's doing pretty good. Um, she's eating pretty good. She's putting on weight, but she has to wear a collar and a covering, and that, and that, in order for her, um, to not. Attack the wounds or you know chew them to make them worse. They're starting to heal and the two smaller ones one's going to be gone maybe within a couple weeks and the other ones are doing pretty good 
And this is where I treat her. This is the medication I put on. It's called Caring Coconut from a nice Facebook friend, uh, Kathleen and her daughter. And alcohol, I disinfect the, the palette knife that I use to smooth it on her. And the hand sanitizer. And I also use the vet uh, medicine. I also want to announce that I'm doing a painting uh, for a donor. I would like to take the time to thank the donors. Anonymous, who I know who he is, but uh, he wants to keep quiet, so, and I'm doing a painting for him. And Kirstie Woods, Sue Wagner, Anonymous, Karen Corkins, Allison Rogers, she donated twice, and Anita Warren. I want to give you my heart felt appreciation and thank you very much and if you can uh, support and share this campaign around I would really appreciate it and Fancy's getting a little itchy she I think she wants down so I'm gonna let her go and you guys have a good day and take care Tell us a little bit about uh, what has happened here. Well, I'm with Wheelchairs for Kids, and what we do is we help children with physical disabilities, and Teddy needed a carrier for his car, and Triple S Mobility came through for us and uh, provided it. They donated it, which is amazing, and um, everybody in town did a little bit for them. Uh, the Hilton put them up overnight, and we also had uh, the Florida Aquarium donated tickets and a special little uh, extra surprise for Teddy. He could see the uh, sharks get fed because he loves sharks. Right. Uh, I'm with the McCrary family and we're at Triple S Mobility in Pinellas Park, Florida. We have got something pretty cool going on today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Uh, we got a wheelchair lift donated to us from Wheelchair for Kids. Great. It looks <laughs> like it's pretty neat. They put it in for you? Uh, Triple S Mobility. Awesome. Tell me about how that's going to help you. Well, for one thing, it'll save on his wheelchair from having to constantly break it down. Um, the back of the van's not very large, so we have to constantly break the wheelchair down, which is wear and tear. And plus, it's wear and tear on our backs. <laughs> that's right. The lift is going to make life a lot easier. Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So tell us a little bit about this young man right here. Uh, this is Teddy. He loves sharks. Loves sharks. He went to the aquarium today, courtesy of Lauren um, over at the Florida Aquarium. Okay. So he absolutely loves sharks. Um, all around good boy. He just went through two major surgeries this year alone. We're expecting another one coming up in December for him. Okay. So that's definitely, definitely needed. Um, all around happy boy. Been through so much in his short life, but spina yep, he has spina bifida and an unspecified gen uh, genetic disorder, and he's just okay. all around happy boy. So this is obviously going to be a big help for your family. Oh yes, uh, yeah. most definitely. Well tell me a little bit, previously to getting this lift, what was the process that you had to go through? Um, I contacted Wheelchair for Kids on their on their website and just filled out an application, had the physical therapist fill them out, his pediatrician fill them out. Nora contacted me, she's been awesome, awesome, great, great help. Um, we went through the process and it was actually pretty quick, pretty painless, very easy, just a lot of phone calls and talking back and forth and then she just got us set up here. Actually, the whole thing start to finish took less than a month. Tell us a little bit about working with the crew here at Triple S Mobility. Oh, they've been wonderful. They've been wonderful, yes. Uh, we, they were showing us the different bands that they have for the lift styles and so forth, so they've been awesome. Okay, terrific.
do it. You just gotta try it. Just do it. Going into the whole thing, my first thing was, do I really want to go against Charles? Because when it comes down to a race car, the guy can pump it out quick. Make it look like the biggest flying turd there is, but it'll win. For us, not really out to try to like beat them. We want ours to look really cool, make some power, and still be competitive. To me, it's the all around rather than just the one thing, regardless of the fact that we're going up against Charles. <laughs> Each set of tuners will have 36 hours to turn their respective cars into competitive dragsters. Gary, Lanny, and Jensen will tune Layla's car first. The shop that we're working at is huge, very clean, and very organized. I am so thankful to be here. Going into this whole thing, we were kind of under the assumption that we were going to swap the motor out. But the whole key was, was to make a street car that's fast on the street.